right there, AP Latin. Here we go. Uh, let's do Virgil, book one, lines 520 to 533. All right, now you've done it. Here we go. Now you've done it. Um, so <clears throat> after they entered, they being Sergestus and uh, Antheus and Cloanthus and a whole bunch of other Trojans, um, and they were given the opportunity for speaking openly, um, the greatest, Ilioneus, started in this peaceful way. Um, o queen, to whom Jupiter has granted the duty uh, to establish a new city and to um, rule over people's uh, proud peoples with justice. We poor Trojans, uh, we beg you, uh, we poor Trojans, um, having been carried across all the seas by the winds, we beg you, um, keep the wicked, infamous, Dastardly uh, fires uh, from our ships. Spare our uh, pious people, our devoted people, and pay closer attention to our problems. We have not come either to uh, destroy Libyan household gods with our sword uh, or with, with iron, um, nor to steer stolen booty to the shores. Um, this violence is not in our minds, nor is there such a proudness of us who have been conquered. Um, there is a place that the Greeks call Hesperia by name. Um, it is an ancient land, powerful in its arms and in the fertility of its soil. Um, uh, Oentrian, oh, Oenotrian men, uh, and there's a note here, um, the land was once called Oenotria, um, it's still Italy, um, and Hesperia is the land of the evening. So it was probably Vesperia for a while, but uh, Hestia and Vestia, right? Um, but uh, yeah, um, Oenotrian men cultivated it. Now, it is said that their descendants call the people Italy, named after their leader. So, he comes a-begging. All right, so that's 533. Okay, I'm going to hit the button.